MLB The Show welcomes you to the city of brotherly love. We're at Citizens Bank Park as we get set to bring you this edition of Major League Baseball. The long regular season comes to a close here tonight as it'll be the Florida Marlins taking on the Philadelphia Phillies. Hello again, everybody. Matt Vaskersian here with my colleagues Dave Campbell and Rex Hudler as we get set for what should be a good one. And, Soup, we turn to you first. What will be the one thing we can keep an eye on here? Well, one guy that's a given to be involved in the action is Jimmy Rollins. You talk about your complete players. In 2007, he and Curtis Granderson became two of only four players in Major League history to record 20 homers, 20 doubles, 20 triples, and 20 stolen bases in the same season. Now that is a great year. Hanley Ramirez will lead things off and be the shortstop. Cameron Maben bat second, he'll be in center. Jorge Cantu will bat third, he's at first base. Jeremy Hermida follows him out in right. Then comes the left fielder, Josh Willingham. Jose Castillo is in the sixth hole, he plays third. Matt Trainer is behind the plate, he'll hit seventh. Alfredo Omezaga bats eighth at second base. Andrew Miller will be on the mound for the Marlins and back number nine. They match up against the young right-hander Kyle Kendrick. Kendrick was a real fine in Philly a season ago after being called up almost as a stopgap starter. He delivered perhaps the most unlikeliest of 10 win seasons, jumping right into a prominent role in the rotation a good two years before he was expected to contribute. A look at the Phillies' alignment defensively, highlighted by first-time Gold Glove Award winner Jimmy Rollins out at shortstop. Coming fourth is the leadoff hitter Hanley Ramirez, and we are all set to go now from Philadelphia. Swing, hard hit ball to second. Throw to first will be in time to retire Ramirez for the game's first out. So one away now, and here's Cameron Maben. And here's the first pitch. Now here's a ball hit hard on the ground towards short. Throw on to first takes care of Maben, and there are two away. And so two are gone now for Jorge Cantu. Now the first pitch. Now a slider's hit on the ground towards second. There to get it is Upley. Go on to the big fella Howard at first, and with that, the inning is over. So a relatively routine start for the top of the first here. Now it'll be the Phillies' turn. No score. Starting lineup for the Phillies will be as follows. Leading things off is the reigning MVP, Jimmy Rollins. He plays shortstop. Wes Helms will bat second. He's at third. Jason Wirth will follow, having a tough time of late against left-handers, so we'll see how he responds. Batting fourth, the always dangerous Ryan Howard over at first. Pat Burrell bats fifth out in left field. Then comes Chase Utley. He'll be at second base. Shane Victorino follows out in center field. Chris Coast will be behind the plate and hit eighth. And doing the pitching and batting number nine, Kyle Kendrick. Andrew Miller will be the guy called upon to slow down these bats. And I'd say his skipper would dearly love to get maybe six good innings out of him. Any less than that. And that bullpen could be in for some trouble. And in the field, Louisville Slugger shows us that the Marlins will align themselves like this. Ready to go now in the home half of inning number one as shortstop Jimmy Rollins makes his way toward the box. And this is on the ground toward the hole. And Amezaga's throw is right there for the first out. Wes Helm will dig in here. First pitch to him. 
Now a ball hit hard, but foul as this one forces the third base coach to dance out of danger. Gets the fastball by him here, and he's in control 0-2. You can see just not getting the hands through the zone quick enough to tackle that fastball in the inside half. Jason Worth steps in now. Now here's the pitch. Ball one. Two out, nobody on. And this is swung on and sent on the ground to first. And they will not get him at first as he's able to leg out the throw. So a runner at first with two away. And digging in, slugging first baseman Ryan Howard. First pitch coming. And he gets ahead 0-1. And at the plate, he's just one home run shy of 30 dingers on the season. So he might be gunning for it here. Now a ball hit pretty well to left, but this is going to wind up in the seats foul. Two out with the man at first. Now a fastball as he has to lean out of the way there. And you don't want hitters to fall into that comfort zone up there, so a good idea to run the fastball in that time. He's set, now the pitch. Now a fastball as he just reared up and let that one fly, and the inning is over. So no runs on a hit here, no errors, one man left on. We'll move to inning number two here in Philadelphia with no score. Jeremy Hermida leads things off now in the top half of the second. Right down Broadway that time. Strike one. And this one's downstairs. It's a ball and a strike. Yeah, and after throwing so few pitches in the first, he might want to vary his locations a bit. Now a ball hit high and deep out there to left center field. And he's going to kick off the second with extra bases. And he is in the second base with a leadoff double. Josh Willingham will step in now, hoping to extend his hitting streak to eight games here. And this is taken outside for ball one. And he'll sling that thing across the strike zone, but he can't nip the corner. Ball hit hard towards the hole. A dive and oh, he can't hang on. And no chance on the throw here as he reaches first easily. Jose Castillo will be the batter. First pitch coming. Oh, and this is just off the outside corner for a ball 1-0. And you don't want to fall too far behind here. Or you'll find yourself in a major jam. 
Now the fastball here is swung on and grounded foul. And he'll look at a fastball here that's close, but it's two and one now. Yeah, trying to run that thing in on the hands. Good eye. Now a ball grounded to short. This could be two. And that's through into left, a base hit. And a relay home. And not nearly in time as the run scores easily. Matt Trainer will get his first opportunity now. Now here's the first pitch. And that misses ball one. And this ball will be chopped foul. None out, runners at first and second. In for strike two. And with a catcher at the plate, he's saying, you better give us that strike. Has a look, now the pitch. Fastball swung on and missed for the first down. Alfredo Omeziga will step in now. Change up a little bit inside, 1 0. Oh. Looks like it had him fooled a bit, but it couldn't hit the target. And this is on the outside corner, or thereabouts at least. It's 1 and 1. Boy, when you're getting calls out there, you can really be tough to hit. And a foul pop behind the plate. Coast looks up and reins it in for route number two. Andrew Miller will stand in. First pitch coming. And a good fastball from Kendrick as he gets ahead. No balls in his strike. And a good chance to really help himself out here early on. Two down, runners at first and second. Ah, he comes up empty that time as he's underneath it, 0-2. And, and that's the first time where it looked like he really cut it loose. Ah, let's get it back on the bed. Tried to get him to go after one below the knees, but it's one and two. And with two strikes, that's a tempting pitch not to chase. Hit hard to the right. Well, this is a foul ball as the count holds steady at one and two. Back to the fastball, but it's upstairs. Two balls and two strikes now. And I think you've got to throw a strike here because you do not want to go three and two. And a little battle brewing here as he fights off the two strike pitch and chops it foul. Here's a swing and a high pop-up out in front of the mound. Coast will put this one away and the side is retired. So it's a run on three hits, no errors, and two men left on. We'll go to the bottom half of inning number two. Florida's out in front, one to nothing. Pat Burrell will start things off in the bottom of the second. Fastball close, but ultimately ruled a ball, 1-0. The next pitch. 
And he misses low with it, 2-0. Oh. And a fastball there is inside as that one backed him up a bit. And he's not only missing the zone here, he's not even close. Rule the strike on the outside corner, three and one. Oh, he's wishing that take sign wasn't on. Let me hack. Here he comes, three one. And he takes ball four. Leadoff man's aboard here to begin the home half of the second. Chase Utley digs into the plate. Down and in here, one ball, no strikes. And this guy at the dish has 27 big flies on the year, so he'll need to pitch him carefully. And he gets a piece of it here, but it's chopped foul. Oh, foul ball. Now the 1-1, one, one. and he misses 2-1. and one. He'll make you bring that fastball up a bit before he takes a whack at it. Nobody out, runner on first. And he goes down to get the fastball there, but I don't think he got all of it as this is out to deep center field. Mabin has to roam straight back, but he has it for the first out. So a runner on first with one out now, and here's the versatile outfielder, Shane Victorino. And they'll start him with a fastball that's low for ball one. one -oh on the way. On the ground to second base. This could be two. Ramirez on to first as they get the double play to get him out of the inning. Nothing doing here this half. We'll go now to the top of the third. The Marlins lead this one one to nothing. Hanley Ramirez ready to go here as we begin the third. Oh, and he runs up and gets a good one down. And the barehanded attempt gets by him here, and that ought to go as a bunt single. Cameron Maben will take his cuts now. Low for ball one. One oh pitch now. And he comes back with one in there for a high strike. There goes Handley for second. Pitch outside the throw. And it's not going to be in time as Ramirez has himself a stolen base. And this one's hit on the ground, but foul. And that misses, so it's a full count, three and two. Trying to lock him up there with a fastball. That's a good spot to miss. And he just does manage to fight this one off as it's fouled away. Good battle here. This will be the seventh pitch coming up. A throw behind the runner at second. And a dive, but he's back. He'll try it again, three and two. 
Boy, really making him work now as the seventh pitch of the at-bat is also fouled away, so the count will hold steady at three balls and two strikes. And he misses there for ball four, so runners are at first and second now with nobody out. Jorge Cantu will stand in. He grounded out his first time. Ball one. Boy, and he's about to lose his mind out there on the mound. Bad time to shrink that strike zone now. And Cantu won't offer it that one either. It's 2-0. and And this is the wrong guy to lose your command to. They need to go right after him. A strike, and it's 2-1. and one. A little bit of sinking action on that fastball. And he just gets a piece there as this is chopped foul. First and second here with nobody out. And he tries to get him to reach for it, but it stays outside three and two. And too many three ball counts early in the ball game will just drive that pitch count up. And he lays off there, ball four. So back to back walks have him in business here with nobody out. Jeremy Hermida will stand in. He doubled and later scored his first time. And a foul ball straight back. Big swing and a miss at the fastball. He's behind in the count 0-2. center and a dive by Rollins but he can't come up with it a base hit now it's cut off a throw to the plate and not in time as the second run scores Josh Willingham will stand in the base hit his first time around Fastball's in there for strike one. And that's swung on and fouled straight back. None out, runners at first and second. And a tough pitch on two strikes as he's able to foul it off. Another 0-2 coming. Can't get him to chase. It's 1-2. And, and he'll fight just to stay alive here as this is fouled away. Tough pitch to lay off there, but he did, and it's even up at 2-2. Two Swung on and missed for the first down. Jose Castillo will stand in. An RBI single in his first appearance. Lays off 1-0. Yeah, tough to elevate on a fastball down there. That's a good spot to miss. The 1-0 pitch. And he watches one miss outside, 2-0 now. Really not much of anything working for him right now. Grounded foul. And 
and a half swing here, but this is in there for a called strike two. Swing and a hard hit ball towards the hole. Oh, and it eats him up. And a throw over to Howard, and that's the second out. Matt Trainer will stride in again. He struck out swinging his first time. Here's the first offering. And that's on the outside corner for a strike. And he was able to punch him out the first time, and he certainly could use another right here. Now a fastball that's taken close that time, but it's one and one. And he's a little too high with that one. Two balls and a strike. And in this early going, it doesn't look like he's really on with spotting the fastball. Two and two now. And he'd love to limit the damage to just two runs if he can. And a big strike out there as they'll leave a couple of runners on base. And after a good start to the inning, they can't capitalize any further. So two runs on two base hits, no errors, and a couple of men left. We'll head now to the home half of inning number three. The Marlins lead it three to nothing. Chris Coach makes his way to the plate to get us started here in the bottom of inning number three. Nope. And he'll look That's at a way. fastball that doesn't miss by a whole lot. It's 1-0. And he falls behind now, 2-0. And, oh. and you've got the pitcher on deck, so if you lose this guy, it's okay. And a good spot for that pitch is it's chopped foul. fly ball and this one has some carry on it to deep right field where to play it is Hermita as he puts it away for the first out well he's not going to get a better pitch to hit than that that slider was right down the middle but it looked like he just missed it and he's retired Kyle Kendrick will get his first shot at it here Here's the first offering. Right there for strike one. Now a fastball off the plate away. A ball and a strike. Got to look to try and slap that thing the other way. on the outside corner there one and two and it looks like he's got a good feel for that pitch early on swing and a miss on the fastball that time out number two first time through the lineup and he's looked awfully strong just one hit against him so far he's got his a game working here So it's back to the top of the order now. Here's the speedster Jimmy Rollins. <laughs> 
fouled back. Bases are empty here with two men out. Now the pitch. And a liner foul into the seats down the right side. Fastball at the knees. Strike three called as that zone gets lower and lower and the side is retired. So they're held in check here this half of the inning. Three innings complete. The Marlins on top, three to nothing. Alfredo Omezaga will stand in now to get us going here in the fourth. Nowhere close with the fastball to begin the at-bat. It's ball one. And another fastball, but this one finds the zone one and one. Right on the inside part of the plate. Not much you can do with that fastball. Looking to drop one down, but he can't make contact. One and two. Now here's the pitch. Swing and a ball pulled into right. And he will reach up to track this one down on the run as he's able to keep this one in his sights for the first out. Andrew Miller will dig in. He popped out his first time. This is hit pretty well out towards deep left. Burl is going to have room, though, as he backs up to put it away, and there are two men gone. Hanley Ramirez will dig in one for two thus far. Way late on the fastball for strike one. And sometimes when you're a leadoff hitter, go ahead and take a pitch. Let your pitcher catch his breath for a second. Swing hard liner to left center. Base hit. Cameron Maben will step in. 0 for 1 with a run scored thus far. Second. Pitch is a cold strike. The throw. Not in time as he steals second. This is what having good speed will do for you. He gets the green light and there's no way they're going to throw him out. Swing and a ball hit foul as this will find the seats in right. Oh. From the belt, the pitch. And he'll try to take control of the inside part of the plate here as that misses. And he takes very close to the inside corner here two and two though yeah you're always looking to keep guys honest with fastballs on the inside part of the plate won't commit on the slider good patience and it's full three and two foul back And he takes ball four. So now at least they're set up for the force at any base here with two away. Jorge Cantu will stand in. Base on balls his last time.
He waits. Now the pitch. Now here's a ball hit hard on the ground to second. Throw on to the first baseman, Howard, and with that, the side is retired. So it's no runs on a hit, no errors, and two men left on. To the bottom of inning number four we go. The Marlins lead this one three to nothing. Wes Helms will lead things off here in the home half of the fourth. And he gets ahead here with the fastball, strike one. And one and one as this one's in on the hands. And even though that's a ball, that's a good spot for that baby. Here's the one one. Keeping it down here as it's to one and two. Got him. So he's down on strikes for the second time here tonight. Jason Worth will dig in. He singled his first time around. And a fastball for Miller as he jumps ahead, nothing in one. In there, and he's in control 0-2 now. Just great location on back-to-back -back pitches away. He hasn't seen one he's liked yet. Now a swing and a ball popped high in the air into foul territory behind first. And there's out number two. So with two gone and the base is empty, no better time to go after Ryan Howard. Swing and a miss, 0-1. That was a good aggressive swing, Matt. He just couldn't get on top of it. The pitch. And the fastball here is hit on the ground, but foul. Blowing away with that one, it's one and two. And it's obvious they want to make him go down and get something because the last three have been down around the knees. <laughs> and he struck him out. Second time tonight now that he's been set down on strikes. So they go quietly here in this half inning. On to the top of inning number five we go. The Marlins lead it three to nothing. Jeremy Hermida will make his way towards the box to lead off the fifth. Here's the first pitch to him. Pretty well hit deep down the line in right, but that's back into the seats foul. Outside for a ball, one and one. Now a swing and a ball hit foul to first as the first base coach had to do a little skip to my Lou there.
Now a hard hit ball back up the middle. And that'll get by into center field for a base hit. Call to the bullpen complete as the right-handed workhorse Ryan Madsen set to take over. Josh Willingham will step in. One for two in the ballgame. First pitch on the way. And that's in there for strike one. Watches that one miss, a ball and a strike. Swing and a miss. Good sinking action there. One and two. Had the right idea on that swing. A lot of room out there in right center. Just manages to stay alive here as he fights this one foul. Oh. Now a fastball that misses badly here, and it's back even to two and two. And they obviously want to work him away as that's three straight on the outside part of the plate. Three and two now. Well, if he's got the confidence to throw it two and two, let's see if he throws it three and two. Boy, really making him work now as the seventh pitch of the at-bat is also fouled away, so the count will hold steady at three balls and two strikes. Lined into left center. And a leap is short, but it's over his glove, and it could be extra bases. Jose Castillo will stride in, grounded out his last time through. First pitch fastball swung on and missed 0-1. And he takes this one high, one and one. And that's what that four-seamer will do. It has a tendency to really rise at the end. Here's the one-one pitch. In for a strike, and he jumps ahead one and two now. And this could be a big pitch in this ball game if he could wiggle out of this. Just does stay alive as this is fouled back. Oh. And a swing and a ball hit foul heading for the seats. So another foul ball here and it remains one and two. And a changeup swung on and missed for the first down. Matt Trainer will try again. Struck out swinging his last time through. And that misses for ball one. Here's a fastball inside as the count moves to 2-0 and now. And you can see the more stressed he gets out there, the tighter he grips that baseball. Take sign must have been on there because that's right down the middle. Strike one. And that cutter's a pitch he'll go back to when he's behind because he knows guys will look at it. And 
And he misses again, ball three. And he misses with it, ball four. So that'll load the bases, and now he's really going to need to get a ground ball. Well, he had a base open to work with there, but now he needs to really buckle down and get himself a ground ball to get out of this. Alfredo Omeziga will stand in, 0 for 2 thus far. Now here's the first pitch. Goes the other way with a fastball, and this is in the air out to left. Burrow is there. Let's see if they test it. Andrew Miller will stand in. He flew out his last time up. Here's a cold strike about thigh high. Nothing in one. Ball's pulled on the ground down the line to first. The flip to the pitcher covering as that will retire the side. So no runs on two hits, no errors, and three left. Home half of the fifth coming up. The Marlins on top, three to nothing. Pat Burrell will stand in to lead things off in the bottom of the fifth. just fight this one off as it's chopped foul. Now a fastball off the plate away. A ball and a strike. And the pitch misses low and away for ball two. See if they try and stay out there again. Fastball and mm, looks like they're pinching him a bit here. It's three and one. Just got to concentrate on that glove in situations like this. Just get it over. And that misses ball four now. It's a leadoff walk to get the home half of the fifth underway. Chase Utley will be the batter. And here's a fastball called for strike one. Might have just been looking at one there, because that's the pitch you can normally handle. He rolled softly down the line, and that is a foul ball. Good waste pitch, one and two. And that's a good two-strike pitch there, as now it might be just to set up something away. Stays alive as this is grounded foul. Misses ball two. Boy, nothing comes easy, does it? Swinging a soft liner towards first. Base hit. Shane Victorino will be the batter. Victorino. 
Good pitch there as he gets him to swing underneath it for strike one. And now he's going to have to work hard to keep that zero clean. First and second here with nobody out. And oh, look out as the cutter ran way in and just about drilled him. And he buzzed him with that one a bit. Now this is on the ground to first. We'll see if they can get two. And the throw will go to second as they get the force out. Chris Coach will dig in here. He flew out his first time around. too high with that one it's one and oh yeah and that's a good spot to try to get somebody to pop the ball up running is victorino and fastball misses badly as that runs down and gets it we'll see if he's all right ryan madsen will get his first cuts here to go around there, but he holds up ball one. Pretty good discipline there as a pitcher to hold it back. Changeup stays outside and he's behind 2-0. Oh. Yeah, with the bases loaded and the pitcher up there, you've got to throw strikes. This is inexcusable. And a foul ball straight back. Here's the two and one pitch. Swung out and missed, and it's even at two and two. Needs one more big pitch here. Does he have it in him? A swing and a miss on a pitch well out of the strike zone as he becomes the second out. to the top of the order now, and that will bring in the MVP shortstop, Jimmy Rollins. <laughs> On the ground to third. Throw in time, so a good pitch there gets him out of the bases loaded jam. So five shutout innings for him thus far. We're through five here at the ballpark. The Marlins lead this one three to nothing. And before the Marlins take their turn here in the sixth inning, let's take a moment to check their in-game box score through five innings. It's presented by Upper Deck. Hanley Ramirez will dig in, looking for hit number three in the ballgame. In there at the letters 0 and 1. And he lays off for ball one. And this ball runs away for ball two. Two and one. Got him to swing under that one. It's two and two. Here's the two and two offering. Swing and a ball line softly to left. And that'll fall in front of Burrell for a base hit. So a runner at first now with nobody out. And that'll bring in the center fielder Cameron Mabin.
and he takes ball one. And he's looking for his first hit of the game to try to push his hitting streak up to five games. Swing and a miss as he ramps up on the fastball, one and one. And with runs proving to be hard to come by, we'll see if they want to set that runner in motion here. Now the one and one pitch. And he takes a cold strike, too. And that misses two and two. Toward short. Leaps high as he makes the catch. Well done. Jorge Cantu will be the batter. 0 for 2 with a walk thus far. Jorge Cantu. And a good fastball there, but this just misses the zone for ball one. Two and zero. Oh. Gets the call on the changeup there. Two and one. I had a good off-speed pitch there and a fastball count. Swung on and fouled straight back. Swing and a hard hit grounder down the line. Utley for one. Back to Howard, but it's not in time to get them both. So it's a runner at first with two men out, and that'll bring forth the youngster, Jeremy Hermida. In there, and it's 0 1. And you can thank this guy for contributing to their nine hit attack. He's got three of them. Pause, now the pitch. And this is popped high in the air toward the left side. Helms has got it, and the side is retired. So no runs here on a base hit, no errors, and one man left aboard. Two, three, and four do up in the home half of the sixth. Florida's out in front, three to nothing. And before the fight and fills come to the plate, it's time once again to check out the numbers on our in-game box score. Wes Helms will get another shot, struck out swinging his last time. Watches a fastball right there for strike one. And I've been pretty surprised at their inability to score so far. This is normally a potent offensive team. Swing and a ball hit hard on the ground at first. Oh, and he boots it. And he barely gets to the bag in time and a close play for route number one. Well, in a park where the baseball really flies, the reason he's been able to pitch so well is that he's kept the ball down and has not allowed a home run. Jason Worth will step in. One for two in the ballgame. misses outside and a bit high one ball no strikes yeah and when you leave it up in the hitter's eyes like that he knows enough not to chase out there lays off again and it's 2 and 0 oh. Ball 
crushed high in the air, deep to left, way back there, and that one is long gone. A solo shot here to the left, eighth home run on the season for him. As they get one back, it's three to one now. Pitch on the way. Ryan Howard swings and misses there, so he's down 0-1. And I'll tell you, I've been surprised at how often they've swung and missed so far. Bases are empty, one man out. And that's in there as well, 0-2 now. Oh boy, time to choke up to the label. Anything to avoid another punch out. Now here it comes. And this is heading out toward left field, but this is going to get fouled up into the crowd. That misses one and two. Wisely lay off that one as it's back to two and two now. Here's the pitch. And that's low, so a good eye there as he works the count back full. Well, he's determined to get him to chase that slider sooner or later. That's outside. He lost him ball four. So a runner at first now with one away. And that will bring in the powerful left fielder, Pat Burrell. Fastball, and oh, he has to bend out of the way of that one. just off the outside corner ball too. Yeah, and it looks like he's aiming it right now, like a dart thrower. Runner at first, Howard the pitch. And he lays off a pitch just below the knees. It's 3-0. and And if you're Charlie Manuel, do you let him go on 3-0 and here? And he takes ball four again. And clearly, guys, they just don't want any part of him in this one. So it's a tight spot here. First and second, one man out. And making his way in is the second baseman, Chase Utley. He's ready. Now the pitch. Now a swing and a bouncing ball toward the hole. Dive, but it's just past his outstretched glove for a base hit. The throw to the plate, and not nearly in time as the run scores easily. Two runs in already here in the inning. Now it becomes time to take a deep breath and try and minimize the damage. An extra base hit here could really be disaster. Sheen Victorino will stand in 0 for 2 thus far. Ball hit high and foul down the left field line. It's strike one. Hit hard to third, but gloved by the third baseman for the out. Oh, and 
some seriously bad luck right there. If that's a few feet higher, this is a tie ball game. But now it'll take a two out knock to score things up. Chris Post will get another shot, hit by a pitch his last time. In there, 0 and 1. And now, if you can get this guy, the pitcher spot would be due up to lead off the bottom of the seventh. Fastball that time is nowhere close, and it's even at 1 and 1. Here's a swing, and he saws him off here as this ball is popped into the air. Cantu is there to make the catch, and the side is retired. So it's two runs here on two hits, with one of them being the home run. We're through six full. The Marlins lead it 3-2. to two. New pitcher coming on. It's the Dominican-born right-hander, Joel Peralta. Josh Willingham will get another shot now. Two for three in the game. And this is off the corner and low. Ball one. in there for a strike 92 on the radar gun that time not a bad idea to work him up and in here with that hard stuff and he takes one off the inside corner for ball two he was summoned out of the bullpen fairly quickly here it looks to me like he may not be fully warmed up yet the 2-1 and a big swing and a miss here two strikes and he's got to be more patient and wait for that pitch to be in the zone. Got him. So he's down on strikes for the second time here tonight. Jose Castillo will get another crack. One for three thus far. First pitch to him. And he lays off there, 1 0. And here's a fastball in for strike one. 91 miles an hour that time. Did he go around? No, he did not. Ball two. Fouled back. And this is hit hard to the right side. But a foul ball as it holds a two and two. Just did get a piece of that one, so he stays alive here. And a little battle brewing here as he fights off the two-strike pitch and chops it foul. Ready with another 2-2. Swing and a ball headed towards the hole. And he'll flip it to the pitcher covering for the out. Pitchers work on this all through spring training. No problems that time. Matt Trainer will stand in. 0 for 2 thus far.
low with the splitter. Ball one. Very tight ball game. Three to two our score in inning number seven. And a foul ball straight back. Now the 1-1. One, 1-2. One. One and this ball's pretty well struck. High and deep to left field. And Burl will tuck this one away, and the side is retired. So nothing happening this time around. Bottom of the seventh now. Get up and stretch here in Philly. The Marlins lead this one 3-2. to two. Justin Miller will come in and pitch now. And it looks like the call has been made for a pinch hitter as So Taguchi is up off the bench and into the on-deck circle now. Looks like he got the call there on the pitch inside. It's nothing in one. And that strike zone starting to expand a bit here in the late going. And Taguchi able to hold back. It's a ball and a strike. And there's ball two now. Just got to find some way to get on base here. One hit softly down the line in left, but this will wind up a foul ball. Two and two. Now here's a swing and a high pop-up, drifting into shallow right field. Ameziga retreats to the outfield grass, and he has it for round number one. Jimmy Rollins will step in, a ground-out victim as last time. Fairly well, heading high and deep toward right center. Mabin is back to the warning track, though, as he gloves it for the second out. West Helm will try again. 0 for 3 thus far. And just lucky to make contact on that one as it's chopped foul. Two out, nobody on. Now the fastball here is swung on and grounded foul. And he is down on strikes again. So get your hats out. That's the third strike out of the game. Nothing across here this half of the inning. Eighth inning coming up. The Marlins on top, three to two. New pitcher coming into the game now, and it's Flash right-hander Tom Gordon. Alfredo Omezaga will dig in here. Grounded foul toward the coaching box at third. Man, a fastball just misses. It's one and one. And this is their fourth pitcher of the night, so there's not much left after this.
Tries to drag his way on here, but now he's behind one and two. And the pitch. And this is going to find the crowd down the left field line. Count holds at one and two. Ball two. Trying to work him down the zone. That's just where you need to keep that fastball. Now the fastball is right by him as he swings and misses for the first out of the inning. Dan Ugla will get the call here as he'll hit for the pitcher. Starts him out with a slider too low for ball one. Now a bullet toward third. And this will be just what the manager ordered as he's off the bench with extra bases. The relay. Not in time. And he's in there with a double. Runner at second, one away, and it's back to the top of the order now for Hanley Ramirez. Now a check swing, but it's strike one anyway, says the home plate umpire. Looked like he lost the handle on a breaking pitch, one and one. And this thing starts out a strike. That's a tough pitch to lay off. Here's the one one. And he lays off for a ball, two and one. Oh, not cheated on that one. It's two and two. Ah, and a big pitch coming here. And a swing and a miss as they got him with the slider there. Two away. The young Marlins taking their act on the road, and they lead it here in the eighth inning as you get a look at our line score through the first seven. Cameron Maben will dig in. He lined out hard in his last time around. Now a soft liner toward first. And no problem over there at first as he flags this one down to end the inning. So it's no runs on a hit, no errors, and a man left. Not too many more shots left. Home half of the eighth coming up. Florida's out in front, three to two. So a new pitcher is set to take over now as it's the veteran right-hander Lee Gardner that takes the mound. Jason Wirth will lead things off here in the bottom half of inning number eight. in there for a cold strike. And they could certainly use another home run out of him right here. And this one's hit on the ground, but foul. Now here's the pitch. Swinging a soft liner back up the middle. And the Mezzigas throw is right there for the first out. Ryan Howard will dig in. He walked and later scored last time.
First pitch coming. Off the plate and away there. One ball, no strikes. Pitch to the plate is a slider for a strike, and it's all knotted up at one and one. Good job of locking on location as he finds his own with that one. No contact there, and it's one and two. Just rearing back and throwing the heater by him right there. Grounded foul. Just a bit low. Tough call, but it's two and two. The 2-2 coming. Now a ball lined hard toward deep right field. Hermida is back in plenty of time to put this away, however, and there are two gone. Oh, and he thought he'd tied this ball game off the bat. I think he caught it a little fat because he didn't miss that by much. Pat Burrell will stand in base on balls his last time. in there for strike one. And this has been a great inning out of the pen. Let's see if he can finish it strong. Big cut by Burl here, but he can't come up with it, and it's 0-2 on him. Swing and a hard hit ball back up the middle. And that'll get through into center field for a base hit. Shane Sutley will dig in again. He single home a run his last time. First offering on the way. And a ball 1-0. That home plate umpire is hearing it in both ears now. Now a swing and he just fouls this one away. Missed with the curveball there, and he falls behind a 2-1. and one. And when you're down 3-2 late, you've really got to up the focus at the plate. Now a swing and a hard hit ball to short. Throw on to first, gets him, and the side is retired. So no runs on a hit here, no errors, one man left on. We've played eight full. The Marlins lead it. Three to two. Jorge Cantu will stand in. He grounded into a fielder's choices last time. First pitch coming. Ninth Woo! inning underway now as the first pitch is taken for a cold strike. And this is one of the few guys in the lineup that has not joined the hit parade so far. And no contact there from Cantu as the count moves to 0-2 on him now. Oh, in years past, he'd be circling the bases right about now. And a good hard slider as this one swung on and missed for the first out here in the ninth. 
Jeremy Hermida will stand in. He popped out in his last time. Swing and a ball hit hard on the ground towards second. There to get it is Utley. Throw to first gets Hermida as he's set down for the second out. Josh Willingham will try again. Two for four in the ball game. And there's a strike on the first pitch from Gordon. 0-1. Takes strike two. And he's pitching this inning just like he's double parked. Everything's been in the strike zone here. And a waste pitch there, one and two. And a good two strike pitch. Make him go up and get it. Now a ball hits softly out towards center. And that is in there for a two-out base knock. Jose Castillo will step in. One for four in the ballgame. ahead of him here 0 and 1 yeah and when you get strike one on the corner you can expand that strike zone right away from the stretch cold strike on the outside part of the plate 0 and 2 uh, what are you waiting for amigo Struck him out, so it remains a one-run lead as they head in for their final set of swings. So no runs here on a base hit, no errors, and one man left aboard. Bottom part of the order, seven, eight, and nine, due up in the bottom of inning number nine. The Marlins on top, three to two. Ninth inning save situation forthcoming as we'll see the new closer, Kevin Gregg, try to lock this one down. Shane Victorino will dig in. He lined out hard in his last time around. And the first pitch is bounced on the ground to Ramirez at short. And a first, and it's a good start in the ninth for Greg, one away. Jeff Jenkins will pinch hit here, and he's the potential tying run. Now a splitter starts things off with a called strike one. That misses one and one. One out, nobody on. Swing and a miss on the fastball, and it's one and two. And that misses, and we're even at two and two. And if you throw enough fastballs in succession, guys are going to time it. So be careful. And he takes three ball three, so it's a full count now. And they obviously think he'll chase a fastball with two strikes because they keep going to it. A 
now, and you can tell he wanted to hold off, but he swings through the inside pitch anyway, and he becomes out number two. And that's a deflating feeling to finally get in the game and then quickly get dispatched from whence you came. Greg Dobbs will pinch hit here, and he's the potential tying run. Splitter outside for ball one. And 2-0 oh as this one's taken low. And all you want to think about doing here is extending the inning and extending the game. Bases are empty here with two men out. And over towards the dugout, but this one will get into the stand. Now he turns on one and rips it down the line. But this will be a foul ball as that evens things at two and two. Two-two pitch is a fastball high, so it runs full three and two. And that thing looked like it was still rising at the end. And he just does manage to fight this one off as it's fouled away. Two out, nobody on. Swing and a ground ball towards the hole. Throw in time, and the ball game is over. Well, this game went right down to the wire, but in the end, they were able to just hold on and walk away victorious. So the Marlins claim victory here. And Soup, let's check out our new era cap heads up play of the game from this one. Yeah, here you go. This was the base hit that gave them the lead. And from there, they never looked back. Pitcher, but this man went above and beyond the call of duty here in this one. He's our upper deck player of the game. Six strong innings, Matt. I was a little surprised they pulled him so soon, but nonetheless, the bullpen did his job and got him the victory. So that brings us to the conclusion of this one. For my colleagues Dave Campbell and Rex Hudler and all of us here at the show, this is Matt Vaskersian saying thanks for joining us here this evening. Once again, our final score, the Marlins win it 3-2. This has been a presentation of MLB 08 The Show. For more, log on to MLB08.com. Good night, everybody.